What it do, C fam? It's your boy C Will. We back at it with another light, slight video, man. Look, today's video, y'all, we are gonna be changing out the front grill of the car, man. As y'all know, it's the standard regular Hellcat grill, man. Got the the SRT Hellcat badge on there, all that good stuff. But we're gonna be changing it to the it's like the front two snorkel fins. I don't know. I'm gonna have to show y'all, right? But I think it's gonna look crazy with the little lights on there too. Ooh -wee. But hey, look, y'all new to the channel, you heard me? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. It's a nice little day, man. You see the living room and all that in the back, you heard me? But yeah, look, subscribe to the channel, man. Turn on the post notification bell so y'all can keep up with anything you boys see Will dropping, anything I'm doing. Look, y'all gonna get notified, you heard me? But look, without further ado, let's get to the video, man. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. So this right here is exactly what the front grill look like man so y'all see this thing man then i got the snorkels already the snorkels are actually lights like i said so i'm gonna have to tap into the damn headlights and all that and then splice some wires and yet yeah. y'all gonna see me get into my damn electrical a la electrician bag man i'm in my damn electrician bag man so yeah hopefully that thing goes well man but yeah look, i'm gonna be taking off both tires you know what I mean? All that good stuff, um, just so I can really, really work on the car the way I want to work on it, man. We got all the electrical wires and all that. That's why last video, if y'all watched it, man, went to Walmart, got all kind of stuff I needed for this. You know, that's the the front snorkel right there. So, yeah, let's go outside, man. Take off the front bumper and all that good stuff. Jack the car up, take the two front tires off, put it on jack stands, and yeah, get to working on this thing, man. Let's get it. Oh yeah, see fam, look, just got outside, you heard me, like, I got all my stuff on the floor, all my tools, uh, everything I need, you heard me, is right here, man. So, without further ado, let me show y'all the game plan, show y'all the whip, all that, you heard me. So, as y'all can see, see fam, I already have the front grill, as y'all see. So, just a before and after, man, y'all see this grill? You see how it is? You know, plain Jane, you know, I... I don't like stock. Everything I do on any of my car C-Fam is definitely aftermarket, you heard me? So, I'm going to just sit this thing up here. Oh, it's probably not going. But, yeah, see that? So, before and after, man. So, it's going to look good, bro. I ain't even tripping. I'm not tripping on nothing, man. Oh, trying to set this thing up. Boom. See that? So, yeah, man. Only thing we really got to do, C-Fam undo these lugs right quick so that it's loose enough and then jack the car up take off the tires or whatever just so we can have more room to get in here because last time i had turned the wheel to the left and to the right to get in there and man my hands got beat the hell up man see that see that yeah my shit got beat up y'all so we ain't doing that that time that's why we got the necessary tools available man got my jack got my jack stand got my uh my lug wrench right here and then yeah that's pretty much it man so just stay tuned you heard me next time y'all see the car it's probably gonna be jacked up and all that good stuff you heard me so let's get to it All right, see fam, so ran into a problem. Obviously, man, whenever you have the side skirts on, it is a little bit more difficult to get your jack under there, which somebody did comment on my last video whenever I put the side skirts on, it was like, hey man, wouldn't the side skirts block off the little thing? So they kind of do get in the way. So my jack, like it doesn't fit all the way under there. Like the, the little head that uh, goes up, it kind of like, it brushes up against the inside of the side skirt. So whenever i try to like jack it up it jacks up the side skirt too now so with that being said the car is too low so what i found i don't know y'all can judge me i had to go by the damn garbage can or whatever and not inside of it was like laying out on the outside obviously i ain't about to dig in the trash y'all got me messed up but i found like this long piece of wood right here so i had to break it and then i put another piece so hopefully y'all this right here will work man uh definitely got piece right there and i got another piece but i might put this a little bit further back 
yeah so we can raise the car up so i can get under there properly man so that's what i'm going through right now see fam I'm telling you man whenever a car is low and whenever you put these modifications on there something always go wrong but it's not gonna stop us man from com completing our mission that's army talk but hey let's get it done man Just like that, we are in the middle of the guy, well almost, but there we are, right? They got enough room to pass, but yeah, we are on here, y'all. So definitely got it up a little higher. So hopefully we can get this thing up on a jack and on the jack stand and then go from there, man. So we have this thing on good jack stands. So as y'all can see, man, this right here is where the car had messed up at. So see that? How this thing rip, y'all? I have no idea, but it's really nice to be able to show y'all on camera, man. So, I guess they got to replace this whole strut or whatever right here just because this one little thing broke. So, it's not the strut. It's this. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's nice to really see under here, man. See inside here. See all that good stuff. But, yeah. So, now, man, just got to undo these tabs. I'm going to fold this bit right here all the way back in the back of the caliper and stuff, to be honest. And then, yeah, I'll have more room and then take this front bumper off, man. Take it off comfortably, too, y'all, because, yeah, your boy was not comfortable the first time I did it. So, yeah, man, you know me, certified car guy right here, man. Got this thing big jacked up. Jeez, might do some damn caliper cleaning, too, man. Might as well, you know. The rotors don't look bad at all still. Hitting 15, 16,000 miles. But, yeah, might clean these calipers. Them things black. But yeah, man, so definitely got a lot more room, see fam, to work. So this should come off really easy. Got to undo these things up top. Uh, there's a bolt right here. I think it's 10 mil right, right on this side. And over here on this side as well, y'all. So yeah, we finna get this thing going, man. All right, see fam. So let me give y'all a little status of what just happened, man. Oh, so don't know if y'all can tell, man, but... I had to take out all these little push pins, y'all. So it was easily, I don't know, probably like 10 to 12 of them. And then what, what you can do after that is push this fender behind a rotor. So man, look at all this room. I can put my whole hand right here, y'all. This is what I call happiness, man. My hands ain't getting beat up. You know, it's getting dirty, y'all, but hey, that's expected, man. But yeah, so once you get in here, like I said on the last video, man, uh, now that I have more room to show y'all, uh, there's this side marker light that's literally right here. And then there was like a 10 mil that's literally like right there. Don't know if y'all can see that, but because the sun, but hold on. Let me, uh, now y'all can't see it, but literally y'all, it's like right here, man. So there's a 10 mil right there. And then there's your side marker light that you just got to disconnect. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, I already took off these little bolts up here. Oh. I already took off these little things right here, man, with my little push pin removal. I already took off this 10 mil bolt that's, that was right here. Then the other one was literally right there, y'all. See this 10 looking area? That's where it was at. And then after that, man, hey, this thing should come smooth off, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to do this side right here now because I haven't done this side yet. Just wanted to show y'all, man. But, yeah, all these little pins, you got like right there, right there, all these. You got one hidden right there. You got one hidden up there. You see what I'm saying? So, it's a bunch of them, y'all. I'm not worried about that one because, yeah, this thing just going to fold all the way back here, y'all. So, once I see y'all again, man, uh, should be taking off the front bumper. That's it. Boom. As you see, see, fam, we finally got this thing off. Jeez. Yeah, y'all. So I can understand now why like shops and stuff charge a whole lot of labor um, per hour and stuff. Cause yeah, this thing definitely took me at least an hour just to get it off, to be honest. But yeah, we got this thing off, man. So one of my things did come off again. I think it was this boy right here came off. So definitely gotta put this back on. 
and then yeah start taking out these right here because these little grooves that's what holds this piece right here in all right so first thing y'all want to do see fam is take off one two three and four right so after you you take this right here off then this whole little piece right here should just come off and then there's these little brackets right so these these ones right here uh you got to push up and then these ones right here you got to push down right so basically it'll look like guess this so push down on the top and push up on the bottom and then apply some force and this whole thing should come out all right see fam so let's get to it All right, see fam, so as y'all can see, man, we got one out, two out, three out, four out, and then also, if y'all look, there's one right there, and there's another one right there, y'all. So, all together, man, there should be six push pins that y'all need to take out just to get this piece right here up, all right? As y'all can see, it's already loose, you heard me? So, yeah, let's get these other two out, and then, yeah, take this thing off. Finally got these two, one, and two out. Y'all, those were the hardest, because they're so, like, deep inside there so now that we got those six out man just want to take out this whole piece like i said this whole piece right here comes out basically like a bracket to keep this boy right here in place so boom we put that down and then like i said y'all so these little tabs right here at the bottom you really just want to push up on these and then apply some pressure and then on the ones on the top you want to push down and then apply some pressure and then push out or pull that way basically so it can come out so that's what i'm about to do man so um yeah let's get it done man so after trials and tribulations man finally got the old grill off man y'all see that thing old srt hellcat badge all that man got this thing off finally bro i'm gonna give y'all a view from the front right quick let me get up off the ground oh as y'all can see man like i said got the old one out it definitely took a lot of like pressure and back and forth this was probably like the most tedious part of it all for real getting this thing out these little grooves right here these little white ones right there yeah them things ain't no joke boy no joke but at least we got the old one out now let me give y'all a little comparison you know the old thing let's go over here and get the new thing too man finally bro oh this right here is what the video is all about right y'all let's go crazy so boom as y'all can see the old thing at the bottom then we got that new thing up top so it's the exact same concept man all we got to do is put these these little things right here see these grooves and all that just clip them all back in and then uh, apply some pressure to it just so you can ensure that it's in all the way. Make sure y'all can see that. See, clip, 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 clip. So pretty much, man, this thing gonna look good. So you wanna do it, obviously, from the inside as well, man. So let me get this thing clipped in and then, yeah, we'll be on our way, man. Just wanted to give y'all a little comparison of what it used to look like versus what it will look like you heard me that thing look crazy on jack stands over there i got a mess going on c fam big mess but hey, it's worth it man we got a car show this weekend sorry for the wind noise man but yeah car show finna be lit man so yeah let's get to it
And just like that, see fam, the new bumper, well, I lie. Well, it basically is a kind of new bumper, but the new grill is definitely in, man. So whenever you putting it back on, you definitely want to apply some kind of force and pressure to it because if you don't hear like a little click or a little snap, then that means it's not in all the way. So yeah, I just had to put one hand on the back, one hand in the front, and then push the bumper this way and push the grill this way, right? against each other and then yeah i definitely heard some cracks and pop of cracks and pops i'm sorry but yeah man the whole thing is in uh let me get y'all a look from the back side boom man so everything is in nice and secure um you see all your all my little tabs and all that y'all make sure y'all can see but yeah see all my little white tabs is all the way through everything like that man so I believe we good man so definitely happy with it y'all definitely all right so once you make sure everything on your grill is secure now you want to put this little harness thing right here back on your little bracket so one two three four five right there and six right there y'all so there should be six push pins man that you need to put back on there so that this whole thing up here is nice and secure all right so let me put these back on all right y'all so my front lip man it looked like it was coming off at least on this side so on the right side of the car this side right here it was coming off but we just put another bolt washer and another hex nut right here to keep it from sagging man so everything should look nice and flush and uniform and i recheck all my bolts and stuff right here you know so we got all that stuff good man somebody comment on a, on a video talk about hey it looked like your uh your front lip was coming off a little bit but yeah that's why though because i guess one of the bolts came out i don't know but the other ones are good so yeah man so right now i'm gonna put the bumper back on and then after that I'm going to put these bad boys right here, the snorkels in, and oh, we're going to start the electrical process, man. Electrician will, man. Will the electrician, bro. <laughs> Let's get to it, man. And just like that, see fam, I have everything already nice and buckled in, man. Um, tidied up. I, I really want to do some kind of like maintenance on my goddamn calipers, man. Just clean them. Got them things black back here, but they look okay from right here. But them things black in the back. But I don't know. I'm going to save that for another time. So yeah, everything buttoned up on that side. Got the grill in. Everything is buttoned up on this side already. Got everything looking all spick and speck. So, next step, man. Unfortunately, I'm about to have to go to work, y'all. But let me put in my little grill thingies right quick. Just to show y'all, man, what I got. So, from the looks of things, look like this one. Nope, that's for the other side. See that? It's crazy. Hey, man, I, I mess up too sometimes, see, family. It don't happen often, you hear me? But, hey, I mess up too, goddamn. So, as y'all can see, man, this bad boy right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this right here through first. All right, put this through, boom. And then there's clips that's on the back of this, as y'all can see, man. And then there's little grooves, one groove right there, another one. Um, and then there's like something right there, whatever. So as y'all can see, all y'all gotta do is line this thing right here up. Line it up right in the clips. Make sure it's in there and then you just wanna push down heard that then push down again push down oh make sure it's in here make sure this one is inside damn they keep coming out all right got both of these in there as y'all can see push down boom 
all right so that's how one look y'all boom so i got one of them things on man now let's do the other one right quick and then whenever i get off of work man i'm gonna have to put in my electrical stuff and whoop 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 but for now let me just show y'all this thing so as i said put this bad boy right here through first boom boom i'm not tripping on none of this right now and then just want to line up your tabs like i said as you can see tab right there tab right there line them up see fam make sure they in boom we got the top one in got the bottom one in now see how this one right here is kind of like outside all you gotta do is pick it back up a little bit push this in here a little bit boom line it up a little bit boom and be fragile well these tabs are very fragile y'all so they may break all right boom got that one in and then boom now somebody calling me but as y'all can see man got them both in right now so thing look good man for real but I'm about to have to go to work y'all so so as y'all can see man we have this side in boom we have that side in man so y'all remember these wires right here that i have put in here so you can take them out and whatnot and then these wires right here are gonna go up and through here right so that's why whenever i I put my bumper back on. I didn't put these little things in because the wires are gonna come through up here. You see what I'm saying? So let me do that. And then that's gonna be the last step for now, see fam. I'm gonna have to take out my intake just so I can reach the headlight lamp right here. Uh, the passenger one is good. I can definitely unplug it. Hope y'all can see it literally right there, right? So that's the one on the passenger side. And then the one on the driver's side, man, it's real tucked. It's like right here so i'm gonna have to take off my intake just to be able to get to it see fam but it's all good just want to show y'all man hey you can do anything if you put your mind to it y'all but like i said let me route these bad boys right here through here and then they should come out up here then the exact thing on that side this one on this side should come out up here y'all so let me just show y'all that and unfortunately man i'm gonna have to go to work and then come back do the electrical thing and then yeah we're gonna get so i did end up routing these wires up through here as i said y'all um i definitely tucked them away for right now because like i said i'm about to have to go in the work see fam so i can't finish as of right now but i would definitely recommend prior to y'all even putting your front bumper on um put these right here in first so y'all can route them in because it's much easier to do it while the bumper is off versus while it's on all right so what you get man uh you get what is it a green and a yellow wire right this wire right here is much shorter but on a video i had watched she ended up using an extension so once you cut these right here and then you splice them you can just get any kind of extension electrical wire so that it can reach all right so i might may have to go to the store get a little extension wire splice that together put some electrical tape around it and then route it to the actual headlight and then you get a ground and the power so red and black all right so you got red and black and then you got green and yellow together all right so that's what comes man on both sides as y'all see i did tuck it away because i'm about to have to leave so i'll be back later see fam let me close this bad boy hopefully ain't nothing gonna happen to my wires nothing like that man uh just tuck them in but yeah i should be good yeah tuck these things in man and i'm gonna come back to it oh damn i still gotta put my wheels back on look at this <laughs> Damn, I gotta put the wheels on. Bye bye to the old stock thing. See them things over there too. F U C K. Gotta put them things back on. Sheesh. Let me put them things on and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here and come back later. Well, I gotta back the car up too. And then, yeah, go take a shower. See, fam. Boy, my hands. Look at that, man. War wounds. Just for y'all. Well, for me too, but. Just for y'all, man. Your boy C. Will out here be working, man. People be stopping by, looking at me. I feel like I really embrace it now, man. I mean, I embrace seeing people watch me work on my car and stuff, man. I embrace all that stuff, y'all. So, without further ado, let me put these tires on, man. And then back the car up. And then, hey, go to work. I'm not taking this car. Though. I'm going to take my Jeep. Yeah, got to take the Jeep. Then I'm going to come back, do, do the electrical wiring and stuff. 
and then yeah test them out man i'm excited hope y'all excited too c fam so yes just sir. like that c fam your boy off work a little earlier than usual i guess you heard me but yeah off work man got the car back now we finna finish it up man so let me let me get y'all to look at it right now while it's like this as y'all see man the front bumper and stuff look good too the front grill that bit look good but wait till we get the lights to work man so hey let's open this thing up right quick we might be a little dirty up in here excuse me c fam you know i had to go buy this this um wire extension and all that man ah, i know damn well bro we gotta take off our intake for sure just so we can get down in there let me see you know me find that thing yes sir boom so still got our wires and all that good stuff man all that good shabazz take all this out and i need some engine bay work boy you know what once i'm done with everything i'm gonna clean up the engine bay and stuff man because yeah my stuff is crazy but yeah like i said we got to take off this bolt right here um shoot i think that looked like it's it for real for real but hey let me figure it out man i'm gonna take this thing out so we can access our driver's side headlight man let's get to it all right, see fam. So first thing y'all want to do, man, is locate your green and yellow wires, right? These right here came with these two things right here on them. All right. So first thing y'all want to do is cut these off of here, right? And then you want to strip these two wires. All right. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Cut the the two little terminals off, and then strip both of them. Boom. All right. Next thing on the driver's side, y'all, you just want to grab your power and then cut off that terminal as well and then you wanna strip it. So as y'all see, man, boom, I got my red one. So as of right now, you should have your red one cut on your driver's side, your green and your yellow one. They all spliced or they all cut, all right? Looking like this. And then from here, right, you wanna take your extra wire, right? So I actually went out and I bought my own wire, man. So take your extra wire and then you just wanna cut it and then splice it like you see here on both ends. Then you wanna hook your extra uh, wire right here to your yellow and to your green. So boom i have mine looking like this right here like i said y'all i'm not an electrician or like that so don't get on me in the comments this is just you know learning purposes for y'all and for me all right y'all so yeah that's next all right see fam so moving on to your headlight all right so your yellow and green wire this one right here with your extension that one is gonna go with your green and white right here so you see this one right here the green and white right that one is gonna splice into the so literally green and yellow goes in green and white all right hopefully y'all understand that all right and then your red one which is your power should go into the one that's it's like this white brown one right here it's literally the one that's right next to it y'all so red goes into the white and brown or white and black like right next to it see the color right there and then your yellow and green goes into your white and green that's literally like right there so yeah i mean just trying to give y'all a visual so white and green equals yellow and green and then white and brown white and black the one that's literally right next to it goes to your red so i'm let me get these right here hooked up and then, yeah. all right see fam so now that i got all my wires and stuff right here y'all this look ugly but hey it's gonna work man i still gotta put some tape around it and everything so once i got this right here wired up and then you also have lastly your black wire right here which is your ground so i'll put mine right here y'all all right so your black wire is your ground you can ground it anywhere on this surface right here but there's literally one right under your intake so i grounded mine right there now let's see if this thing worked man i'm hoping it worked y'all like i said i'm not no electrician I'm not none of that, but hold on, hold on, boy. Let me turn this thing on. Hold on, boy. No, I ain't tripping, see, fam. Hold up. Let me see something, man. Sheesh. You boy, see, will, man. Let's see, let's see, man. So I'm gonna put what the left turning signal on. Hopefully, we see something that we like. Hopefully, bro. Then that mean, hey, we did something good, see, fam. If not. Well, maybe we did something bad. I don't know. Hold up. Let me see something. Maybe it only worked with the whatchamacallum lights. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let me try to flip that switch and see. Ah, okay. See? So they do work. 
So I really wonder if they're white at night or something. I don't know. Let me see. Hold up. All right. So it worked on this mode. Uh, let me put it on this mode right here and see. I don't know. Yep. Same exact thing. Same thing. But let me see if it'll work on the auto. Because I don't think it worked on the auto mode. Yeah, I don't know. Well, not the auto, but this one. So it worked on the first two from the right. Let's see. Ah, uh, see? So they're off right there. And now let's go to the auto and see. Let me see. And they're not on for the auto, which is really weird. So, I don't know. Maybe I gotta tap into something different, see fam? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not an electrician, but I mean, this should do for now, man. I mean, I definitely like it for sure. But uh, yeah, let me see. All right, that's enough for that. Um, let me see. Let me see. Put on these ones right here. Now these, I don't know. It better work for this one. I don't know. No, it's not working for that. That's so weird, man. I don't know. Cause I don't never drive like. I never drive in like this mode right here. I don't drive in none of these, to be honest. I always just put it in auto thing, you know. But maybe I need to start driving it in one of these. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, I mean, it does work though, see fam. I must say it works, you know, so. You know, that's that right there. But yeah, I definitely wonder, I mean, if it's white at night, cause I can't see nothing right now, obviously y'all. But yeah, man, that's how you do it on one side, see, fam. You know, this thing sucking in air. That's crazy. But yeah, it definitely works, though, see, fam. You know, I'm really curious to see that thing at night. Just want to see it. Just curious, you know. So yeah, let me do the other side, man, and I'll get at y'all. You heard me? All right, see, fam. So we tested it out, at least on the driver's side, man. So that being said, now y'all, this right here is the finished product. So I got my two wires taped together right here. Got my two wires right here taped together, man. And then, you know, done with this side. So now, man, all I really gotta do is plug this board right here back in. Oh, plug this board right here, right back in. Boom. And then uh, ratchet, not ratchet my wires, uh, zip tie my wires together, man. So um, I'm gonna do that, clean this stuff right here up and then go to the other side you heard me that's it man so yeah i can do it see fam y'all can do it too like i said y'all it's not the prettiest job and i got all kind of stuff out here man it's not the prettiest job man but hey we definitely achieving results you heard me so yeah your boy gonna be good for the car show and all that man but yeah on to this side bro well all right see fam on to the passenger side man so if y'all flip y'all light over not y'all light y'all flip y'all headlight thing right here over all right and this side is facing up so it's the exact same thing like on the driver's side all right so the exact same wire so you got this wire right here that's all the way to the right look like a white and tan all right that one is going to be for your green and yellow for these two right here all right and then for your uh power which is this red wire oh sound like them boys shooting oh hell no nah. for your red wire which is your power them boys busting for your red wire which is for your power man it's gonna be this white and orange one this white and orange one right here y'all so like i said green and yellow is this white and tan one right there this one and then your red one which is your power is gonna be this orange and reddish or orange and white whatever red white orange white whatever y'all want to call it so it's literally these two up here are the only two y'all gonna be messing with man so let me put my extension on this one and then put this one to that and then my red one to that. I already grounded my black wire right here. Just remember y'all, black is always ground, all right? Ground, black, black, ground. And these, this bolt right here is a 10 mil, right? On both sides, 10 mil, 10 mil. So let's get this thing going, man. I already cleaned up my wiring and stuff on this side. So as y'all can see, boom, wired everything right there. And then, yeah, just gotta put the intake back in, clean up the engine bay, close this thing. And then, yeah, we good, man. So I'll let you boys see we'll get to work. Feel like a damn electrician. Stop playing with me, man. Ain't nothing I can't do, man. The most humble way possible, bro. A little bit of YouTube, a little bit of videos. And hey, I done caught on, C-Fam. So let's get it. 
RIC fam, just like that, man, we're finally done, dog. Finally finished with the car, bro. Like, it took me forever in a day just to get that damn intake back in. Only thing that's a sign for y'all is that your boy need a, a leg maker, or B Woody, JLT. I need something that's smaller than this. This big box, it was hard getting that bit in, boy. But, like I said, y'all, we are done. I'm gonna clean up the engine bay after the video, I promise y'all. But, yeah, so I got my wires right here, man. Oh, uh, tuck. Well, tuck for the most part. I mean, if you, if you over here, you can't really see them. All you can see is the zip tie, and then got my other wires tucked. Oh, uh, they're underneath here. See that zip tie that's down there? Boom. Got that zip tie right there. So, yeah, man. I mean, I think the car look, you know, a whole lot better. No, it don't have a badge, but I actually do have the badges. I have a red badge. I'm gonna put right there. Then I got another red badge on the back. I'm gonna put on for the trunk. You know what I mean? So yeah we definitely got you know mods and all that good stuff coming man let me close the trunk get y'all a little light slight start then i'm gonna mess with the lights and stuff and let y'all see it in xyz so yeah man let me give y'all a little start y'all i'm dirty boy hey your boy be putting in that work man well the youtuber doing this like me man you know humbly nobody so let me Y'all seen that? Sheesh. Hey, them things look good. Now, see, fam, don't play. Hey, keep it a buck fifty, man. How them things look, now? Jeez, you boy be doing this thing, man. I'm telling y'all. Damn, good UPS. Yes, sir, the boy's working. Good benefits UPS on God. Good benefits. But yeah, man, let me see. So, that's just off a of cold start, I guess, y'all. So... I mean, it's on auto right now and the lights was on. So let's see if, so press the red button. Doop. Now the car is fully on. Are the lights gonna turn on by themselves? Ah, uh, see, no. So the lights aren't on anymore, y'all, as y'all can see. But let me see something. I might just have to ride a different way. Let me see. So if I ride, I know if I ride like this, them things gonna be on. If I ride this way, they're gonna be on, but let me see how these look all the way to the right. Let me see. Ah, uh, see that? Nah, I don't like that though, see fam. That look crazy. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to show y'all more whenever it's like really dark. For real, for real. Let me put these ones right here on. I might have to ride with these ones right here. The middle ones, let me see. Yeah, I might have to just ride like this with the middle ones, man. If I want them on, if I want them off, I'm gonna ride in auto. But I just gotta remember to turn on, turn the uh, the car lights off and on whenever I what you would call it. But yeah, man, I'm gonna set the, the camera up and I'm gonna just show y'all, man. I guess how they look. Um, you know, turn signal, this, this, and that. So let's get to that right quick. Man. All right, see, fam. Just now got back to the crib, you know, before the video even end, man. I definitely wanted to get y'all a look of the car with the uh lights on at night you heard me so i know i gave y'all a look at it with you know it being daytime and all that but yeah man at night man these things are super bright y'all like it's it look crazy on camera i don't know how to explain it but yeah they stupid bright hold on let me see if i can because yeah it's an auto remember earlier y'all like they wasn't on in auto mode but i guess at night they just trigger on you know so they stay on through all the Hold on, let me see. Okay, so they go off in the second one. And then the third one, let me see. Yeah, third one they come on. And then I know the fourth one they definitely on for sure. Like, I know they on, hold on, let me see. Yeah, y'all, these things are stupid bright. I love them though, man. Look great. Now I'm about to just put the hazard on for y'all so y'all can see. Then y'all can just imagine how it look. Hold on, let me do that. Put this on, this on, and then put the hazards on just so y'all can see how they look, man. Y'all can just do your own analysis and all that based on the turning signals and all that. But yeah. It look weird on camera. I don't know why. It look like it's like two lights right here and then two lights right there. I don't know if it's just the glare, but I mean, 
get up close. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, y'all. This thing, man, gives it a whole nother effect, man. Y'all see the little red eye Hellcat logos right there. This thing's fire. Man, I got the most fire Hellcat red eye in Colorado. Stop playing. Easy work, y'all. But yeah. Uh, back to the video, man. All right, see fam. So just park the car back, man. I'm gonna get y'all a last final view of the car. This right here is how it look on a startup, man. Boom. That's how it look on a light, slight startup. Sheesh. It's crazy, y'all. These lights go hard, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. These things go hard. The only thing that I don't like is that they don't stay on whenever I'm in the auto mode. I have to manually turn on the lights and then turn them off for the turning signal and all that, man. So, yeah, y'all. Definitely blessed, man. Definitely happy about how the car turned out and everything, y'all. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. But, yeah, I'm telling y'all, it's been a long day today, man. I started off this morning. Um, had to go to work. Came back. All that good stuff, man. Them boys looking all in the camera, but it's all good, man. For real. But yeah, y'all, look, man. I hope y'all appreciated me working on the whip, you heard me? Y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. On the road to 10K, you heard me? 10K, man. So, it's your boy C. Will. Y'all see fam. Now, I'll holla at y'all on the next one, baby. Look at that. Ooh-wee. Yes, sir.